Travis Scott is worth roughly $80 million and he still has the audacity to ask fans to pay $15 for a virtual ticket to his Rome Utopia concert livestream. But is that really his decision? Does he even need more money? And why does it seem like he is getting more and more greedy? Before we get into the answers to these questions, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to help support the channel. So a few days ago, following the release of Travis Scott's most recent album, Utopia, he announced that a first edition of the album was coming and he would be offering it for purchase on his website. Come to find out, this first edition was just the exact same version of the album that was played in the Circus Maximus movie, and the same version that's present on Utopia's vinyl and CD releases. The first edition includes extra vocals from Sheck West on Fien and Young Lean on Parasail, and trades out Meltdown for A on the tracklist. So Travis was hyping up the first edition like it was going to be something completely different until we realized it was something we already had access to, meaning the offer to purchase this on Travis Travis's website seems mildly redundant and kind of like a shameless cash grab to fans. But on the other hand, the first edition does include actual changes to the album. It just seems a little shady from Travis's side to advertise it as something completely new when in reality it's just the CD slash vinyl version of the album. Then today, Travis just posted on his website a virtual ticket to the live stream of his Utopia concert in Rome for $15. A virtual ticket to a concert live stream. Now this is where I think fans started to think they were getting nickel and dimed by Travis. The thing is, people will absolutely still pay the 15, so I'm sure Travis is going to make money off of it, regardless because of how popular he is. Unless the live stream of the concert is legitimately locked down tight, I feel like it's going to be posted and streamed for free in the obvious corners of the internet. I think the reason fans feel like Travis is being so greedy is because he's almost taking advantage of them at this point. Travis knows enough people will pay to make it worth offering, so so the fans feel a bit targeted. And while you shouldn't pay the $15 if you don't want to, enough people will that Travis's financial team will see this as a good move. So really for fans, it feels like no matter what they do, these low effort grabs for cash will continue nonetheless. Now, I think we need to take a step back from accusing Travis of being a greedy artist and try to recognize just how much money he's taking in, along with how much money he needs. To make Utopia, Travis had to pay all the featured artists, all his producers, all his engineers, and his management just to make the music. Then he has to pay money to marketing agencies and distribution platforms. But it's also true that Travis and his team are bringing in some serious revenue just from streams and radio plays of Utopia. I think the takeaway here is that whoever manages Travis's financials and probably his overall manager have a large revenue goal they have to hit for the entirety of Utopia's release and all related costs. So the first edition sale and the virtual live stream ticket are just two ways that Travis's team plans to hit their revenue goal. If it wasn't these two things, it would have been more merch or some other way to get more and more money from fans. This is really just the crux of how artists make money these days in music. Travis and his team have to justify the insane cost of making something like Utopia with all the profit that they expect to make, and regardless, they are determined to make that, whether it be virtual tickets or merch or whatever. So I really don't think there's any reason to be mad at Travis specifically because one, there's no way he personally decided to to do the first edition and the virtual $15 tickets, it was likely his management, and two, just because of how profit and revenue for things like this work, they would have done the same thing or something similar because labels and financial managers have to hit their projected revenue goal. It's just how business works. You gotta make money to show investors and advertisers why you are still a valuable asset for them. Travis is one of the best in the rap game at monetizing his image, which can be credited both to him and his team, as well as his dedicated fans, and none None of these things are going to go away because Travis as a business needs to be profitable and he needs to make money. But like I said, it's not him making these financial decisions alone, so it does no good to attack him for being greedy. If you don't want to give him the 15, then don't do it and move on. Look, I understand why fans feel the way they do, but it's more a reflection of the entire fan base combined with the fact that Travis and his management will find streams of revenue regardless. So honestly, I personally wouldn't say Travis is greedy, I would say the business model of music these days is specifically designed to squeeze every possible dollar from fans' wallets. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this, and let me know in the comments if you think Travis is being overly greedy or not.